Hi hey guys, it's Manny here. Um, so once again, I want to talk to you about the Amber Heard and Johnny Depp thing because there was something that sort of occurred to me that I didn't, I didn't, I, I'd sort of touched on it in the last video, which was about the, um, I think his name is Lauren Lumber, which was the, the, the lawyer who talks about the, the bed frame thing. Um, I just, I wanted to, to talk about to you guys about this because of the fact that I found it very interesting how you know when I first heard about how Amber Heard claimed that Johnny Depp damaged the bed I was just pretty gobsmacked by that because of the fact that it's literally impossible I mean this was um Without the um, without seeing the the, the Lauren Lumber guy, um, without his video explaining how it, it couldn't couldn't have been done could have been done sorry, um, but it just it didn't make any logical sense. I mean, anyone with half a brain would know that if you've got a solid bit of wood and you're putting your full body weight on a person's body uh, I mean she describes it as um as Johnny was on top of her he had one knee on top of her body while she was lying face down on the bed I think that's what what the description was she was lying face down on the bed and he had one knee on her body and his other leg was uh was uh on the bedpost and it didn't make any sense how she could claim that he damaged the bed from that because of the fact that if you try doing that just try um imagine putting your full body weight onto somebody's back on say just try imagine it on this couch right now if you try leaning one le leaning on your knee full body weight on your knee Imagine if you're doing it on top of somebody and they're trying with all their might to get out from under you, you are not going to have enough pressure, even if you could split the wood, you are not going to have enough pressure on your back foot to do that damage. It just doesn't make any sense. So her argument just, it falls apart just from the physical impossible impossibility of it. You just physically... I mean, a solid piece of wood, even if you stood on it full full weight of your body and jumped up and down on it, it would not splinter like that. It's just not physically possible. So I just find it incredible that people believe that that thing happened. Um, if there are any people out there who do believe that that's what happened, um, it's incredible that people are stupid enough to believe that but also I find it I think I did mention this in the other video I can't really remember I don't really watch my videos back very often um, but I think I just like the, the, the there are two photos of it and in the the wide shot photo of the bed that you can see um, if you look up the photos of it you see the, the wide shot of the bed the splinter goes the whole way along the bottom of the bar and in the close-up it's only I think um, if you're facing it it's only the left side which would be I think she said it was Johnny's side and um, oh my god it's like you're telling me she not only created the original splinter which is the one the small one that she took with the splinter bit on the floor she not only made that one and then stupidly left the knife on the bed after doing that, <laughs> she then must have gone back and pulled even more wood off in order to make the splinter look even bigger. I mean, I don't know whether that was her or whether or not he did that. I, I don't know. But if it was her, well, she's even stupider because of the fact that, you know, why would you go back and re-damage the bed. It doesn't make any sense. Stupid girl. Um, but yeah, no, I mean, I've just been constantly following on 
uh, seeing even more about her behaviour. I mean, I just recently saw some footage of her and her sister uh, celebrating in the car after apparently the original settlement win, um, after they split and she got the seven million. Um, that is not the behaviour of someone who has PTSD and, um, you know, I, I luckily, I didn't suffer physical abuse at the hands of anyone, but I have suffered mental trauma, um, and I'm telling you, when you are, when you're recounting something, you don't behave at all the way Amber does. I mean, if you just look at her posture while she's even just sitting there, she's sitting in the, uh, uh, in the, um, not the witness stand, when she, with her lawyer, she's sitting there and her posture is she's sitting up straight and she's got, she's leaning on one, one side and she's got her, her eyebrows, are, her eyebrows are up like this and she's looking down her nose. She's sort of like, almost like she's trying to see over the top of someone, but it's, she's looking down her nose at everyone else. And that is not the posture of someone who is traumatized. First of all, when you're traumatized and you've got someone who has caused you trauma in the room, you don't want to have eye contact them with them. You shrink and it's the last place on earth you want to be. Um, and if someone is calling you out for being a liar, uh, and you're not a narcissist, um, you would be um, looking down a lot. You would be looking down and probably you'd be going red. Uh, she's not showing any signs of uh, shame, embarrassment or anything. Um, she's, she's not shrinking and when she's crying she's not producing tears and um, you know, it's, it's, it's incredible to think that this woman thinks, she genuinely believes up here that she is entitled to behave the way she does. She's entitled to treat others the way she does. She's, um, I would call it, like, um, I would say she's a psychopath, really, because only a psychopath would be so lacking in emotional understanding that they would happily destroy someone, men either mentally or physically. I mean, for people to sit there and say, um, I support the Me Too movement, w uh, women don't lie, or only women, I can't remember what the movements are, but, but you know, it's like basically, you know, how they're saying the only people who you should believe are women. And it's like, to you're dehumanizing men. And you're saying that no man on this planet has ever been a victim of domestic view, uh, violence and abuse and all men are tough um, and have backbones that are all um, unbreakable and women are all innocent flowers that get destroyed by tough men and men are all heartless monsters and there's there are no men out there who could ever suffer abuse because women can't cause abuse because heaven forbid a woman pick up a frying pan and hit her husband over the head with it or throw a plate at him or like in this case throw a bottle at him or you know belittle him and scream and shout at him and uh, it, heaven forbid it could be that the man is just not has suffered trauma in the past like Johnny has and 
and has, oh my God, it's just, heaven forbid that a man actually be vulnerable to abuse from anyone, even woman, even a woman, you know? I mean, if someone is broken enough, even a child could throw an insult at someone and hurt someone, you know? A child may not do it deliberately because they don't realize the impact that they're having, but you know what? It doesn't mean you can't hurt someone. And I'm sure there are plenty of men out there who would love to stand up and say, hello, I was a victim of physical abuse. I was a victim of mental abuse from a woman. How many men out there have been killed by their spouses as a result of people not believing them? Because oh, you're a man, how can you possibly be a victim of domestic violence? How could, how could it possibly be that your wife is beating you? How could it possibly be that your wife is abusing you mentally? How could it possibly be that your wife is emotionally destro destroying you? How is, and that's the thing, in, in this world, people are just constantly, um, not constantly, sorry, but uh, there is, it's, it's disturbing to think that in this world, people believe that women are completely and utterly innocent and they are the only ones that can be victims and not men. So um, I just find that really hard to believe and it's very, very sad. And I think, you know, I don't know whether the Me Too movement was originally meant to include men but I think now it's become a sort of sexist thing. It's it's a women only group thing. So yeah. Anyway, that's just something I wanted to get out. Um, I just think Amber Heard is just an absolute monster, and I think she really, personally, I think she really should be put behind bars. Either. Either not, not necessarily prison because I don't think she's technically admitted any crimes. Well, I don't know whether any crimes that really warrant being put behind bars, but certainly in a mental institution, I would certainly say people like that just don't deserve to be out in society. I mean, I can't imagine her getting a job after this. I mean, she's completely financially broken. If Elon, if Elon Musk is is going to be paying for her for her situation, frankly, he's going to be in serious problems because everyone's going to be like, oh, you're the one supporting Amber Heard. So, mm, really not going to support you then, are we? Uh, not that it really matters to him because he's so rich anyway. But, uh, you know, uh, the problem is that um, Yeah, I, I can't imagine her getting a job after this because, I mean, she's probably going to be hired by the Me Too movement and the, uh, was it, the women-only groups. And um, But I just don't see, if they, they choose not to hire her, I don't see how anyone would ever hire her, even to do a waitressing job. I can't imagine that happening. So Amber Heard doing a waitressing job, everyone will boycott the coffee shop that she worked at. Um, anyway, so, yeah, also I just think that it's, it's hilarious how that, um, that lawyer of hers was apparently on having an interview and she apparently is still trying to defend Amber and I think it's like, you, you darling are seriously, you're asking for someone to give you a machine gun to shoot both your feet off because you clearly don't understand when enough is enough. <laughs> You should just accept your loss and move on instead of trying to keep things, uh, trying to keep defending your client who very clearly lost, you know. And it's, uh, the evidence was far too overwhelming for you to be uh, still defending her. And I think it's a bit stupid of you because you're going to basically destroy your own career as a result of doing that. So anyway, so... Uh, so my time's up, so I've got to go. Um, so you guys let me know what you think in the comment section below. Um, leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video if I have anything else to say about this. So, bye.